Veteran leaders from Naga society continue to react to the recent statement made by the NSC and IM wherein the group threatened to go back to its armed resistance if the government of India fails to honor the framework agreement. The latest reaction comes from veteran politician and former chief minister of Nagaland, Dr. Shirhozali Lozatsu, who has dubbed the threat issued by NSC and IM as quote-unquote too much. Well, the former chief minister expressed doubt on whether members of the outfit would willingly give up their comfortable lives and go back to the jungle. Now, let's listen in to what exactly Dr. Shirhuzli said. As far as the, the threat given by them to go back to the jungle, I feel uh, uh, it is too much for all of us to think about it at the moment. Our national workers also, it is doubtful whether they'll go back to the jungle, leaving the you know, comfort zone. So they should not think of going back to the jungle, but they should look forward. And it is the Naga people, the public, who should speak so that uh, a settlement can be arrived at as early as possible. Furthermore, Dr. Shirozali accused the government of India of indifferent attitude and insincerity in resolving the decades-old Naga political issue. With the framework agreement and a great position already signed, the former chief minister passed the onus to the government of India, stating that the Naga political groups are ready for a solution. I want to be frank. Indian government is not sincere towards the uh, settlement of the Naga problem. I am, or otherwise, this NNP, they have already signed the framework agreement and the agreed position. And now it all depends upon the Indian government when to sign. I think these people are only waiting the signal from the Indian government. They want a solution, framework agreement or uh, agreed position. They're waiting for the signal from the Indian government. It all now depends upon the in the court of the Indian government.